I was here at the university today to speak to the business students in business school and that was because business and Brexit are absolutely shoulder to shoulder in their importance. Wolverhampton's got a great business school so it's critically important that students know what's coming their way in this totally new political and economic environment. The word Brexit came about seven years ago now uh, because the big scandal and story at the time was about Greece and the Euro. And that crisis was called the Grexit crisis, Greece and Exit, because everybody thought that Greece was going to leave the Euro. And it didn't take much of a leap of artistic faith to change a G for a B, hence Brexit. So it came out in an article in 2012 which says that Britain should lead in Europe, otherwise Grexit will be followed by a sad word, Brexit. It's a claim to fame or a claim to infamy, one way or the other. If anything, it gives me a right to say what I think it meant at the time and what I think it means now. And I just think it's a shame that because of the way the government has approached this and because of the way the media have approached it, the word is essentially a dirty word right now as a sort of byword for incompetence and drift. The advice I give to the business students here is life isn't just about business. Every business needs to know where it is historically in the world because Brexit is all about historical change. So what does that mean? And also what I would say to the business students as I did today, I mean, my experience about the whole Brexit saga is you know, think long term, not short term think big not small and always have a clear objective, a clear strategy and clear tactics to achieve your objective, or clear, you know, whatever you want in business. And that's why matching Brexit and its political and economic consequences is very important for people who are just starting out on their business career.